All right, class, uh, thank you so much for being on time. Good evening, everyone. Uh, congratulations once again, right, that you guys are trying to complete your goals, right? So that's the reason that we are here. Remember that every time that we are doing something, we need to be motivated. Otherwise, without motivation, nothing is going to be completed. All right. So just I just want to make sure I just want to I just want to clarify that you guys are understanding what we're doing in here. So lo quiero saber o clarificar de que estamos entendiendo que estamos haciendo, ¿verdad? Los felicito por estar acá nuevamente. Otra, otra clase en la cual vamos a desarrollar varios temas. First of all, uh, let me tell you that I want you to you guys pay attention because from one topic, quiero que tomen eh, punto que de un tema van a salir uno, dos, tres subtemas. Ok, so de un tema en base es al cual nosotros vamos a desarrollar el que queremos a uh, explicar esta noche. Si ¿Sí me explico. Por decir, vamos a hablar esta noche de daily routines, de las rutinas diarias, ¿verdad? Pero para hablar de las rutinas diarias necesitamos hablar de el simple present. All right? Necesitamos hablar de time expressions. All right? Expresiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, uh, para unos se nos hace tal vez un poco difícil el decir, el decir uh, nuevo vocabulario, pero por eso estamos acá, ¿verdad? Aprendiendo el cual, pues, nosotros vamos a este, tratar de explicar en una mejor manera, ¿ok? So, entonces, en este caso, vamos a empezar con la motivación, la cual siempre me, me, encanta, me encanta expresarla con, mis, con mi clase antes de empezar la misma. Un momento, a saber si está, puede ver lo que yo veo. ¿Se puede ver o oh, está muy pequeño? Yes. Ok. Yes. Ok, excellent. Very good. All right. So now, guys, I want you to you guys be motivated all the time. We need to be, you know, happy. Probably Mr. Escamilla is not showing his face, right? Like, uh, I am happy. Tal vez no pueda enseñarles de que me estoy sonriendo, me estoy gozando de la vida, pero sí, ¿verdad? We have to be happy because we are alive, right? So estamos vivitos y estamos... Uh, Aquí, aprendiendo un nuevo tema. Okay, so now everybody repeat motivation, please. Come on, let's go. Motivation. 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 Excellent. Very good. Motivation. One more time. One more time. Motivation. Motivation. Excellent. 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 Give me one second. Que me apareció algo por acá. All right. Give me one second. What is this? Okay. All right. So when we say motivation, all right, so we are saying something that is going to motivate us, right, to complete our goals. When we, cuando decimos motivación, estamos diciendo algo que nos va a motivar a completar nuestras metas. In this case, let me, exp let me explain real quick. I won't take much time from you. Okay. So, and let me tell you, uh, let's see, it says like this, push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. All right? One more time. Push yourself because no one else is going to do it for you. All right? So now let's repeat everybody. Push yourself. Okay. Push, Push yourself. yourself. Push yourself because Push. no one, no one else, else no one else, no one else, no one else, no one else, else is to going to do it for you. you. All right, one more time. But just remember that we have a comma, right? We have a comma right. and make a pause, all right? Who's yourself? Because no one else is going to do it for you. Come on, let's go. Who's yourself? Because no one else is going to do it for you. Excellent. What did that mean, guys? Excellent. What does that mean? That means that you guys need to push yourself. Usted se tiene que forzar usted mismo, ¿verdad? Porque nadie más lo va a hacer por usted. Nadie. Nadie, all right? So, and that's the reason that we are here. So, some of you are most likely, you know, voy a hablar plural, ¿verdad? No, no en específico de alguien de acá, de todo El Salvador. Hay personas que ahorita quisieran estar acá, right? Hay personas que, eh, que ahorita están prestando una computadora, hay unas personas que han prestado un celular, hay personas que están usando uh, datos para recibir la clase. Entonces usted 
push yourself. Esfuércese usted mismo, porque nadie más lo va a hacer por usted. All right, so very good. Let's rock and roll the class. Mándeme un like y le voy a creer que usted lo va a llevar en su mente y no se le va a olvidar nunca, ¿verdad? Que vamos a aprender a hablar inglés de la right way, del, del right way. Ok, so, ni un like, ok, solo me mandaron dos, vamos a ver. Thank you, Carla, thank you, Rosa. All right, so, let's see, excellent, very good. Now, uh, we are going to review uh, quick, uh, quick topics, all right, related to the topic that we checked yesterday, all right? So, yesterday, we were, we, we were checking which topics. ¿Qué temas verificamos ayer? Alguien que me diga. Negative statement. Negative statement. And what else? In affirmative. Okay. What else? Just that. Just that. Any any anybody else can tell me what we what we checked yesterday? All right. So, give me one second. I just have a. Uh, I don't know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now, guys. Yes? Yes. All right, so yes. it's basically because I tuve una, una descarga de electricidad ahorita, por eso se, se puso así como loading, right? So, but okay. if, you are, if you are able to see, let me double check. Let me stop the, rec uh, all right, just a moment. All right, let's see. Let's see. All right, in the meantime, if we are able to see another thing over here. So when we are talking about um, negative statements, remember we are talking about also about positive statements. So que quiere decir esto? El, prácticamente lo que estoy haciendo yo y quiero que me ponga atención, estamos creando un énfasis respecto al tema de All right? y el tema que vamos a desarrollar es prácticamente el daily routines las rutinas diarias para crear una rutina diaria conversacional, no sé si existe esa palabra pero si no pues usted me corrige para crear una rutina diaria donde hay una conversación mutua Necesitamos uh, negative statements, positive statements. Necesitamos subject verb complements, right? Necesitamos time expressions. Necesitamos verbs. Ya lo mencionamos, pero entonces quiero que me vaya entendiendo la idea por dónde vamos, ¿ok? Permítame, vamos a ver si podemos abrir ya lo que es esta plataforma. Todavía está cargando, bueno, si sí, ahorita está cargando, vamos a ver. So, now, let me just go ahead and double check the simple present. Remember, the simple present is basically uh, a structure like this, right? Subject, and what else? Verb. Subject, verb. Complement. Complement, right? So. Complement. All right, so por ahora quiero que usted de, de, de este momento empiece a, a meditar antes de empezar a hablar en inglés, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uy, teacher, viene bien grosero, ¿no? Solo le estoy mencionando uh -huh. cómo usted va a meditar antes de hablar para que usted no tenga ese problema que sole, eh, solemos tener cuando empezamos a hablar. A mí me pasaba, ¿verdad? Se, se ha fijado que a veces nosotros se nos olvida cómo me voy a dirigir al maestro, cómo me voy a dirigir al, 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 al compañero o con quien usted sea a la par, ¿verdad? Entonces, si usted dice, hey, my name is René Escamilla. I am Salvadorian. I live in Soyapango. I have two kids and I live with my mother. Si usted se fija, estoy hablando de mi persona, all right? Pero estamos hablando simple present. Creo que ya vieron el simple presente, ¿verdad? En las clases anteriores. ¿Sí? Yes, yes. yes, very good. That's the reason that you guys understand 
how uh, sentences are structured. Por esa razón ustedes entienden cómo las oraciones están estructuradas. Entonces, ahora bien, voy acá. Eh, vamos a verificar, permítame. Vamos a ver si ya me cargo esto. Todavía sigue loading. Es que tuve una... Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver si me lo carga acá. Vamos a ver. Ok. All right, so por esa razón quiero que me ponga atención de acuerdo a lo que estamos tratando de llegar o complementar esta noche. All right, let's see. Antes le voy a hacer un, un, un adelanto en lo que carga la página, ¿verdad? De nuestra plataforma. Eh, el tema de ahora, pues más bien, o de ayer, y que vamos a verificar también este día, es daily routines. All right, daily routines. Let's repeat daily routines. Everybody, come on, let's go. Daily routines. Daily, daily, routine. daily, routine. daily routine. Routines, daily all right. Es entendible, ¿verdad? Si yo le pregunto, uh, Elmer, what does that mean? Daily routines in Spanish. Easy, right? Go ahead, tell me. Rutina diaria. Rutina diaria, exactly, all right? So, and that's the reason that we need to, uh, we need to comprehend. Remember, comprehend what a daily routines are. ¿Por qué razón? Porque usted ahí va a arrancar con las conversaciones mutuamente, all right? So, let's repeat. I wake up. I wake, I wake up. up. I get up. I, I get, up. get up. I take a shower. I get up. I take a shower. I get rest. I, I get, get, get rest. I comb. I get a shower. My hair. I comb my, my hair. I comb my hair. I comb my hair. I comb my hair. I comb my hair. I have a breakfast. I have I a break. break. I go to work. I, I go, go to work. work. I start work. I start, start work. work. I answer emails. I, I, I answer, answer emails. emails. I have a lunch. I have lunch. I, have lunch. I finish work. I finish, I finish work. work. I arrive home. I arrive home. I feed my dog. I feed my dog. I cook dinner. I cook dinner. I feed my I cook dinner. One more time. I cook dinner. I cook dinner. All right. I, I have dinner. I have dinner. I watch TV. I, I watch, watch TV. TV. I go to bed. I, I go to bed. bed. I, I fall asleep. I, I fall asleep. asleep. I fall asleep. I fall asleep. I fall asleep. All right, so as you can see, guys, let me explain. I as you can see right now, you just mention, I mean, you just mention or you just repeat with me. All right. One thing, right? What was that? The, the only thing that you see weird. Que es la cosa rara que mira en todas las expresiones acá, en todas las daily routines que, que tiene acá esta, esta, este cuadro que le estoy enseñando. ¿De quién solo habla el, el daily routine? Ahí. Just first, first person, right? Yes. All right. Yes. Entonces, ok. Entonces, that would be your daily routines. Entonces, si yo le pregunto. Si yo le pregunto, es, eh, let's see, vamos a ver, el que, el que esté más serio. El que esté más serio, a ese le voy a preguntar. Vamos a ver, tiene que estar riéndose. Vamos a ver, quiero el que esté más serio, le voy a preguntar. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Eso, todos riéndose. Ah, ya vi, un, ya vi un serio ahí, William. Ya lo vi, ya vi el serio. William. Ok, very good, William. Good evening. How are you doing tonight? Good. Tell very me. good, very good, very good. I like that. All right, William, if I do ask you how you will uh, develop or how you will express your daily routines, 
what would be your daily routines if I ask you that question? I mean, I am asking this question, I'm sorry. How would be your daily routines? Or could you please tell me your daily routines based on the information that I ju that we just mentioned? Con la información que acabamos de, de verificar, ¿me puede dar sus rutinas diarias, William? Ok. La, um, la, puede, puede, usar, puede usar todas las que mira acá, no se preocupe. Solo quiero ver cómo las va a utilizar. Y yo, yo, le, yo okay. le digo si las dice bien o no. Ok, no se preocupe. Go ahead. I wake up at 5 a.m. Mm -hmm. I get up at 5.20 a.m. I, I get dressed. I go to gym at 5.30 a.m. And I, I take a shower. And I go to I go I go to work. Mm -hmm. I start work at nine a.m. And I I answer emails. I make phone calls. And late I have lunch at eight p.m. Uh, at one p.m. I finish work at six p.m. And I arrive at home. Um, I cook dinner. I have dinner. And I have English class at 8 p.m. Okay. And um, I go to sleep at 10.30 p.m. All right, excellent. Very good job. Run applause for you. Very nice. Very good. All right. So now uh, let's see. I just sent you. You did a good job, uh, William. Very good. All right. But I want you to you guys. I want you to you guys uh, focus that we need to use connectors, right? Every time that we mm -hmm. make uh, expressions, I mean, every time that we mention something or any topic, topics like the way we are doing right now. So, uh, we need to use connectors, all right? So, mm -hmm. si usted hubiera, usted hubiera sonado de una manera diferente si hubiéramos usado los conectores, pero hoy, ah, de, después, de esta, después de esta clase, le voy a volver a preguntar y usted lo va a hacer mejor, okay? All right, so, okay, so let's see. Let me ask uh, al más serio, le voy a preguntar otra vez. Todos tienen que estarse riendo. Si no se ríe, pues vamos a ver. Quiero ver, vamos a ver. No apague la cámara tampoco. Estoy viendo que están apagando luces, apagando cámaras. Vamos a ver. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay, excellent. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver lo más serio. Y el que no, el que solo le miro los, la frente, también a ese le vamos a preguntar. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Eso. Uh, all right, uh, Jocelyn. Solo le miro ahí. No, no le puedo ver bien su, 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 su carita. Tell me your daily routines. Your daily routines based on the information that we just mentioned, usando la información que acabamos de eh, utilizar, ¿ok? Si no se puede expresar en este momento, no se preocupe, ¿ok? Pero hámelo saber. Si no, pues, continúe. Vamos, Jocelyn, you can do it. Ok. Um, I get up at 5 o'clock. I take a shower um by Thursday a.m i comb my hair at six mm -hmm. six a.m i have breakfast seven o'clock i go to work seven seven ten a.m <clears throat> Um, I start work eight thirty. Okay. I am, in as well emails eight eight thirty. Right. Okay. I have a lunch one p.m. I finish work by 
thirty. I had thirty p.m. Arrive home. Um, six. Six p.m. Okay. I have a have a dinner. Um, seven seven thirty. Okay. Um, I have a class. English. Eight p.m. <clears throat> All right, excellent, very good, very good, nice job, uh, Jocelyn. Very good, very good, good job. All right, one more time. Just remember that we need to use the connectors. Esto es lo que le puse acá son los conectores, verdad? Cuando, para que su conversación o sus expresiones sean mejor, usted me va a empezar a utilizar conectores, verdad? Then, but, and, besides, after, before, also, between. Además de eso, usted puede utilizar algunas, algunas, ¿cómo se llama? Prepositions, right? ¿Saben cuáles son las preposiciones? Yes. yes Preposition. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Puede utilizar. Uh, si se asemeja a lo que usted va a hablar, la puede utilizar las expresiones, las preposition of time, ¿verdad? Las preposiciones de tiempo. En, entonces, Richard, dígame. Eh, solamente que no se muestra las ¿El qué? Eh, lo que nos acaba de, de los mencionar. Los conectores. Ah, los están conectores en, en no... el chat. Están en el chat. Están en el ah, chat. Okay, okay. Están en el chat. Ahí van otra vez. Me asustó, me asustó. Pensé que estaba hablando en falso. <risa> ok. Ok, guys. Por, por ejemplo, yo le doy la, lo que yo hago based on this, on this uh, uh, images that we have here. Ok, so... Usted tiene que empezar a, a sonar diferente, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo le digo, Eric, porque lo miro bien serio, ¿verdad? Le digo, Eric, tell me your daily routines. All right. ¿Cómo me las diría? Pero dígamelas así como que usted la siente, ¿verdad? No me la diga así como que está, como que está uh, leyendo, leyendo, ¿verdad? Como dicen por ahí. Entonces, dígamela a usted así como usted las considera que son. Pero agrégueme los, los conectores. Acuérdese que then es como después, pero y además antes, antes, uh, después, encima de eso, entre de. Ok, go ahead, uh, Eric. Dígame. Uh, pero no entiendo, o sea, Vaya. sí sé que tuve que usar conectores, pero eh, la traducción de cada uno de ellos, sí. No. Vaya, no, ahorita. Ahorita se lo voy a decir yo. yo. No me preocupe. O sea, cuando alguien le dice den, es como entonces, ¿verdad? Entonces, va, te espero. Besides es además de. After, after es como después. No, es después. Before es antes. Also es además de. Between es entre de. Entre la camisa negra, entre la camisa roja, entre el microbús rojo, así sucesivamente. Entonces, lo voy a decir yo primero para que me agarren la idea, ¿verdad? En lo que carga, no sé si habrá cargado el, el, la plataforma. No, no ha cargado. Vamos a ver, no, no ha cargado. Entonces, nos vamos de nuevo para acá. Por ejemplo, yo le digo, acuérdense que tenemos que escucharnos profesionales desde un principio, all right So, hello guys, good evening. I'm going to tell you my daily, daily routines. Usually, I wake up at 3 a.m., sometimes at 4 a.m., and sometimes at 5 a.m. But normally, the right time that I wake up, it's 3.30 a.m. Imagínense, solo hay uno, no he pasado del prim, de la primera imagen. Ah, sí, pero usted porque ya sabe, se lo puede todo. Por eso, yo, por eso estamos expresando lo que usted me va a decir, para que vaya agarrando la idea. Esto no va a ser, esta clase no va a ser mágica, pero va a ser mágico lo que usted va a hacer en su hard disk. All right? So, todavía estoy en wake up. Me quedé, but, I no, but, but, but I normally I wake up around 3.30 a.m. After that, Después de eso, I get up 
around four, around six, around 6.30, all right? And I, I wear my sandals. Si usted se fija, el muchacho se está poniendo una sandalia, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. I wear my sandals and I start thinking. Si se fija, el muchacho está pensando, ¿verdad? I start thinking. I relax a little bit. I close my eyes. And then I just have to go and take a shower. I take a shower around 5 a.m. All right, around 5 a.m. When I am taking the shower, I like to sing. I am singing, right? When I'm, I don't know if you guys sing when you're washing up. I do. I do that. All right. Or oh, I like to listen to music. I, yo pongo mi celular y me gusta escuchar música. All right. So, all right. Usted lo puede mencionar. I like to listen to music. Then I get dressed. Después yo me yo, después yo me visto. And besides, and además, I comb my hair. Me peino. I like, me gusta peinarme. Me gusta arreglarme. Las señoritas, I like to make up. Las señoritas, me gusta maquillarme, right? I like to make up. And after that, I have, a, I have breakfast with my family. As soon as, as soon as we complete, as soon as we eat, as soon as we, yeah, eat our breakfast, <clears throat> I, I go to work running. Me voy al trabajo corriendo. Ahí le agrega running, ¿verdad? I go to work running. <clears throat> then I start working. I start work. Si se mira la cara del muchacho, está bien contento, especialmente si es lunes, ¿verdad? Tiene una cara así bien, bien larga, ¿verdad? I start working and... I don't have, I don't, I don't feel good because today is Monday. Then I start answering emails. Si usted se fija, usted me puede preguntar, pero ¿por qué cambia usted los verbos cuando tenemos los verbos acá en presente? Sí, pero acuérdese que le estamos dando en torno a la conversación que queremos complementar en este momento, ¿verdad? Recuérdese de que para el nivel que usted tiene ahorita, yo voy a asumir, ¿verdad? Pero si usted no lo sabe, yo le voy a ayudar, ¿verdad? Yo voy a asumir que usted ya sabe el tema del ING o el gerund, el gerundio, el ING, ¿sí? El simple progressive. ¿Ya se sabe? Yes. Excellent. Yes, Entonces, yes. very good. Entonces, si usted ya sabe esos temitas, por esa razón yo estoy desglosándome más con las daily routines. Ah, usted lo está haciendo bien extenso. No, lo estoy haciendo lo más fácil que usted lo pueda entender. ¿Verdad? En este caso, usted no se tiene que extender como yo lo he hecho. Solo le di unas ideas para que usted me diga, ok, I wake up around 8 o'clock. Then I get up, I put my sandals on. After that, I take a shower. Then, y ahí, ahí va utilizando usted los conectores. Cuando usted empieza a utilizar conectores, usted empieza a arreglar sus ideas en su hard disk. And then you will be talking differently. You will be expressing your um, your words or your, the ways that you talk different. Okay? Pero si usted solo me habla, I wake up at 8 o'clock. I get up at 8.30. I take a shower at night. I get dressed at 9.15. ¿Está bien? ¿Está bien? Está bien, pero no. no se, o sea, se va a oír muy corto. Se va a oír muy, este, diferente a lo que yo quiero expresarme. Ok, now, let's see. Permítame, quiero ver si ya se conectó esto. Vamos a ver. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta, my kiddos? Do you have any questions so far? No questions? All right, let me just uh, select another lady over here, porque solo le pregunté a, a muchachos, no niñas. Bueno, sí le pregunté a una niña, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver. Le voy a preguntar a alguien más y que me dé las daily routines before we jump to the topic. Let's see. Uh, alguien que no, no tenga la cámara encendida, le voy a preguntar en ese momento. Permítame, no se preocupe. Quiero ver. 
El que la tenga apagada, ese le voy a decir. Vamos a ver. Todos la encendieron ya, mire. Solo me quedo aquí. Mario, Mario Roberto, por favor, me puede decir su daily routines based on this information. Ok. Um, Very good, Mario. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, I wake up at 5.30. Um, um, I take a shower. I get dressed. And I go to work at, at 8 o'clock. The first thing I do at work is uh, send emails. Then I make phone calls and, and have lunch at, at 12 o'clock. Okay. Then I, start, uh, I come back to work. I, I finish work at, at 6 o'clock. Between the way from work to to home, I listen to music. Um, I arrive home around seven seven p.m. I like to watch TV news, uh, have dinner, and then, oh well, before go to bed, to bed I check email and go to bed at around 11. Excellent, run applause for you, Robert. Very nice, very nice, very good job. You see guys, se fijaron que uh, nuestro compañero Mario Roberto Alfaro Peña utilizó como tres conectores, pero los utilizó bien. All right, so ahí hay más conectores eh, que, hay, que, hay, que él pudo haber utilizado, ¿verdad? Acuérdese que after es después, before es antes. Entonces usted lo puede utilizar en sus daily routines, ¿ok? So, after and, and before, acuérdense que son este, uh, prepositions, all right, preposition, pero ese es otro tema, usted no le ponga atención a eso, solamente ponga la atención a que tiene que utilizar conectores para que su, eh, si la, para cuando la próxima vez que le pregunte, usted, eh, su, su daily routine suene diferente, ok? Very good, Robert, ok? So, anybody else want to participate? Anybody else? Any volunteer? Any victim? Victim or volunteer? Can I do Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. I wake up. I wake up at 6 a.m. After that, I take a shower and then I go to work. At noon, I have lunch and around 3.30, I I take a coffee break. Mm -hmm. And finally around 6 6 p.m. I I finish my work and I come back to my home. And finally at 8 p.m. I attend the English class and around 11 p.m. I go to work. I go to bed. Excellent, right on, my class, very good, very good. You see, guys, ¿Qué se, qué, qué, ¿cuál es su nombre, mi estimado, perdón? Elmer. Elmer, guys. I'm Elmer. Okay, Elmer, very good, very good job. Congratulations. Okay, this question is for everybody. What do you check or what do you hear that Elmer says different between all the images that we have here? ¿Qué él dijo diferente con todas las imágenes que tenemos acá? O sea, de acuerdo a las daily routines que él, que él mencionó, ¿qué alguien le puso atención a lo que él expresó? Take a coffee. Ya, yeah, sí. Eh, esa va incluida, pero él hizo algo diferente. Diferente. O sea, tomando las, la información que está acá, ¿qué, ah, ¿qué más hizo él para hacerlo a su manera? Five. Four, three, two, one. Expression. Boom. Expressions. Yes, he did express himself very good. I am agree with that. Lo que él hizo fue esto, mi estimado. Que si usted se fija cuántas imágenes hay acá, we have, let's see, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. He summarized 
he summarized the 20 and just like four or five. All right. Él no, él no mencionó, solo dijo, I wake up at six. Creo que así dijo, I wake up at six. Then uh, okay. I, take a I take a shower. I go to work. You know, after that, I took a, uh, I took a coffee, a cup of coffee. And then I get back home. I run, blah, blah, blah. And then I go to sleep. Dijo como cinco cosas. O sea, usted lo puede decir de esa manera también. All right. Because this is not the first, uh, this one, it won't be the first time or the last time that you will mention these guys. Esta no va a ser la primera ni la última. Otro día se lo van a decir y usted ya tiene en su mente que no va a estar acordándose de las 25 imágenes, ¿verdad? O las 20 imágenes que hay. Usted va a decir, Dios mío, ¿cuál era la segunda? ¿Cuál era la tercera? No, eso lo va a decir, lo va a decir usted based on your personal information. All right. Very good, very good. Let's jump to the to the class, the, the regular class. Give me one second. Let's see. And let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking right now. Good job, guys. Everybody has my good score for you. Everybody's uh is able to see what I'm checking right now, yes. Pueden ver yes. La, la... Okay, excellent. Yes. All right, we were here. Yesterday, right? So, si usted se fija, lo que estamos creando en este momento, mis niños, es prácticamente diálogos. ¿Cómo sí. sé que se van a crear? ¿Cómo sé yo que vamos a crear un diálogo? Usando statements, negative, negative and positive, affirmative, positive. Yeah, affirmative, negative, positive, which is the same. We are using connectors. We are using uh, prepositions. We are using subject verbs and complements, right? Okay. So we already practiced this last class. Um, let me ask you this, the activity from yesterday. All right, let's see. Los que no tengan la cámara encendida, le voy a preguntar. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Uh, Rosa del Carmen, Rosa del Carmen Rojas, tell me. We are here, right? Pair work number three. And we are going to review the, the activity from yesterday, the one that I gave you yesterday to do this, to do that today. All right. What, what activities Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? Mm. ¿Cuáles son las actividades que Mario y Sofia hacen los lunes basado en la información que tenemos acá? What check, activities? Uh -huh, go ahead. Check mails. Okay, and, let's see. Mm -hmm. And call clients. Check emails and call clients. All right. And what about Sofia? A weekly report and attend a meeting. Okay. Or, and organize. 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 Meeting. Repeat one more time, everybody. Organize. 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 Very good. Organize. Y, ¿Y quién es ella? Disculpe, mi estimada. ¿Quién es ella? Sofía. Ajá, pero ¿quién es ella? She. Excellent. Yo se lo dije, ¿verdad? ¿Quién es ella? Ella, ¿verdad? She. All right. So, and when we are talking about somebody, remember that we need to uh, talk about third party, right? We need to we need to mention the I mean we need to <clears throat> reference, all right? We need to mention that we are talking about another person. In this case would be the third person, all right? The third person in this dialogue or conversation is either Mario or Sofia. All right? Porque yo le estoy preguntando a mi estimada acá what activities do Mario and Sofia? I'm sorry, what activities do Mario and Sofia do on Mondays? So, okay, usted viene y me dice, okay, Mario and Sofia, ahí usted le da referencia a lo que le acabo de preguntar, ¿verdad? Remember, acknowledge the question. Mario and Sofia, they check the, the Mario check the emails and he calls client. Now, Sofia, she read, she always read a, a weekly report and attend 
meetings. And also, she organized meetings. ¿Sí me explico? <clears throat> yes. Yes. Do we have the idea, yes. guys? Yes. All right. I would like to make sure. I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding. What, what, what is I mean, if you're understanding what I'm trying to explain at this moment. Quiero saber si están entendiendo lo que les estoy tratando de explicar en este momento. No se preocupe, aquí nadie lleva carreras, ¿ok? Yo prefiero que usted aprenda un, una parte de a que, yo lleve la, a que yo lleve la clase a mil por horas, ¿verdad? Entonces, si no ha entendido, levánteme la manita y dígame, Mr. I don't know what you're talking about. Could you please repeat that one more time? And I'll be more than happy. I'll be more than happy to tell you or repeat that information. Okay. So, todos entende, entendemos, comprendimos, perdón. Yes. All right. Yes, very teacher. good. Very good. Very good. Dijo aquel, el silencio otorga, verdad? Very good. Very good. Ese silencio otorgó ya. Excellent. All right. So, okay. Let's see a los que solo les miro su lovely frentecita, verdad? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Ah, pero quiero agarrar a los que no tienen la cámara encendida. Laura, Raquel, Navarrete, please. Tell me, do you consider that this is important to check your email every day and why? Esta pregunta es para usted. Do you consider that it is important to check your email every day and why? I, I, I do. I important to check my email because in my work is very important. Uh, the service, service. Um. Very good. Very good. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Very good. Go ahead. No worries. Hi. No worries, no worries. Very good. Dele, dele, dele. How do you say service al cliente? Customer service. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. Uh, it's customer service. Mm -hmm. And my boss a, is, is, is a, a strict. A All strict? right. All right. Strict, yes. Yes. Okay, excellent. Very good job. I mean, no worries. All right. So what I'm trying to, uh, what I'm trying to see but what I'm trying to hear from you guys is that we are talking, that we have a conversation together, all right? And we are we are interacting, we are having interaction together, all right? So if I do ask, let's see, to, um, let's see, let's see, let's see, Carla Melissa Martinez Cruz. If I do ask the same question, no, Carla, si está encendida con la cámara encendida. Okay, Carla, Melissa, if I do ask the same question, what would be the, what would be your answer? Do you consider that it is important to check your email every day when why? You're in mute, okay, go ahead. No se le escucha. Yes, teacher. Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. Uh, okay, go ahead. Yes, it's important. Why? Um, because I need... ¿Cómo se dice comunicarnos? We need to get in touch or we need to communicate each other. We need community each other. Um, con <laughs> hospital in USA. Okay. Uh, I need information for the patients. Okay, let me, okay, very good job. Nice, 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 nice. Very good. Let me tell you something for everybody. Nice job, Carlita. Okay, acuérdese de esto. Acuérdese de este, de este consejo every time that you 
get a question from anybody. Si otro profesor en futuros módulos le hace una pregunta, trate de ser preciso y conciso. ¿Qué quiere decir esto? Precise and concise. For example, voy a poner, voy a contestar yo esa pregunta. Dice, pero la voy a hacer primero. Do you consider that it is important to check your email every day and why? Yo diría en este caso, yes, it is important because we need to make questions and receive answers. Punto. Es importante recibir correos porque necesitamos hacer preguntas y recibir respuestas. To, main, um, to the point. To the point. Al grano. All right. Cut to the chase. Company and All right. So, All right. So, so important. All right. So let's see. Okay. Let's. Very good job, guys. Now, okay. si se dan cuenta. All right. So, no hemos pasado. Simple present. Hemos estado hablando simple present. And we are going to check now activities that you do on a regular Monday. All right. So, ya chequeamos esto ayer, ¿verdad? Lo chequeamos, contestamos esta, estas respuestas. Y creo que ya las terminamos. All right. So, aquí creo que no dejamos nada. Dice, write what you do on a regular day. No, no dejamos nada de esto. Y dice acá... Eh, verificamos eso también, ¿verdad? Que, what does Dominic do? All right. So, acuérdese de esto. Como profesionales que somos, acuérdese que está aprendiendo un idioma y no es fácil. Usted está en el, la universidad del lenguaje, le podemos decir así, ¿verdad? Que está aprendiendo que es el idioma inglés como segunda lengua. So, como profesionales que somos, usted sabe que hay que identificar cómo hacer una pregunta y cómo queremos que nos contesten. Por ende, we need verbs, we need uh, connectors, we need all grammar points, todos los puntos gramaticales, all right? So, si usted pregunta, en este caso, en este diálogo, dice, listen to your teacher, read the conversation, then practice with a partner. Sonia dice, what does Dominic do? ¿Qué es lo que hace Domin Dominico o Dominic? ¿Verdad? No sé cómo se dice Dominic. ¿Qué es Dominic? Dominico, ¿verdad? Creo yo. Anyways, ¿qué es lo que hace Dominic? What does Dominic do? Viene Matt y le dice, well, she is a secretary. Ok. So, Dominic en in English, right, es un nombre, eh, ¿cómo se dice? Unisex. All right. Que lo usan, lo usan para, para, Males and para females, all right? It's like my name. My name is René. Usted lo puede, ya lo, no sé si ya lo he escuchado, que lo usan también las señoritas. Se puede llamar René, bla, 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 y es una niña, ¿verdad? So, pero yo soy, soy hombre. Yo soy René, all right? René. Very good. And solo es un short parenthesis, ¿ok? Dice así. Oh, I see. I see what does... She do every day exactly. Veo lo que ella hace exactamente. Ok. Le dice, oh, I see your point. Veo, veo tu punto. Well, she types, she types reports and sends emails every day. She is a hardworking woman. Absolutely. Does she arrive early? Ella llega temprano. Claro que sí, le dice, yeah, she is the first person to arrive in the office. Ella es la primera persona que llega a la oficina. Ok, so, esto lo verificamos ayer. Ahora yo le pregunto a los que tienen la cámara apagada, vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Uh, William Alonso Rubio Moreno, please, be my guest. No sé si ya le, oh, ya le pregunté. No, ¿por qué, la, sabe ¿por qué sale con la cámara apagada? Permítame. A usted ya le pregunté, mi estimado. Oh, no, yes. la tiene encendida. Perdón, perdón. My bad, my bad. A uh, Mario ya le pregunté. Vamos a ver quién tiene. Todo la tienen encendida ya, mira. Excellent. Excellent. Ok. Very nice job. Ok, let's see. Todo la encendieron. Vamos a ver. Jenny. Very good. A uh, mi smiley, a mi sonriente querida Jenny, please tell me if you complete the, act, the second activity last night. I mean, yes, today. Uh, mi estimada Jenny, que dice así. Select the correct form of the verbs to complete the sentences. Le pregunto, ¿me terminó esta actividad, mi estimada eh, Miss Zamora? 
¿Cuál sería la respuesta para la número uno, Jenny? She type o she types reports. She types, types Ver, reports. Very good. Why? Why, Jenny? Is third person. Third person, right? Very good. Excellent. Uh, let's see, Claudia Noemi. Do, does she arrive late? ¿Cuál sería? Do or does? Does. Excellent. Very good. Everybody knows that we are talking in third parties, right? Third party, I'm sorry. And let's see. <clears throat> Vamos a ver. Uh, Jose Derek Mejia, please tell me. Number three. Does she arrive or arrives early? Arrive. We arrive or arrives? Arrive. Everybody's agree? Does she arrive or arrives? ¿Están todos de acuerdo? Arrive. 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 Does she arrive? arrive. ¿Con yeah. S o sin arrive. S? Arrive. Sin arrive. S. Sin S. S. Sin S. S. Does she arrive? Vamos a ver. Vamos a ver. Ok. She, she is the first person to arrive in the office. She arrives. Pero si estamos hablando en third party. But it's a question, teacher. It's uh -huh. a question, uh -huh. right? It's, a, it's question. a question, all right? So, but we have over here, she is the first person to arrive in the office. So, sería arrive, correct? No, arrives. Mm -hmm. Are we agree? Okay, we agree. Very excellent. Very good. Okay, guys. So, let's pass to the next to the next topic, all right? So, as you can see, I mean, as you can listen, as you can listen, all right? So, we do have a simple present for third person singular simple present for third person pl plural and we have a simple present yes no questions for third person singular and plural okay entonces esto yo creo que ya lo vimos eh, mi estimado me pueden decir ustedes verdad creo que ya lo ya lo repetimos sí pero todavía vamos en un proceso acuérdense que este es un proceso all right so si yo le digo en este caso el simple present ya lo ya lo verificamos verdad He checks, he goes, he likes. Domini checks, Domini goes, Domini likes. It checks, it goes, it likes. All right, so ya vamos a dar unos ejemplos de ello. Solo quiero que tenga aquí una idea, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es el simple present for third person singular? ¿Y cuál es el simple, eh, cuál es el simple present for third person plural? They check. My co-workers go, the employees like, ¿ok? So, esto solamente es como un énfasis respecto al tema. Y recuérdese que aquí el simple, el simple present yes no question es cuando se le pregunta en otras palabras, do you speak English, uh, Eric? My question, do you speak English? What would be your uh, answer? 50-50. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's understandable what you just mentioned, what you just answered. But if if I want to hear a just no question, a just no question for third person in singular or plural, so what would be your answer? Si yo le pregunto, do you speak English, Eric? Yes, I do. Very good. Okay. If I If I do okay. ask... If I do ask, or if I ask you, Eric, do you speak Russian? What is Russian? Russian is uh, Russo, Russian. <laughs> no, I not. No, you not, or no, I don't. No, I do. No, I don't. I went, oh, you do, you do speak Russian? <laughs> Okay, okay, okay. No, I don't. No, I don't. Excellent. Very good, okay? So, let me double check. Let me see over here. All right. ¿Te ¿Pueden verificar lo que estoy viendo en este momento, mis niños? ¿Y niñas? Yes? yes. All right. Yes. Yes. Estas, estas se las voy a mandar, si les parece, al grupo de WhatsApp. O si no, le tomo una captura de batalla si usted tiene eh, la computadora, ¿verdad? Eso está en el internet, all right, so, pero esto prácticamente son fórmulas para que usted tenga ideas cómo expresar los verbos en 
singular tercera persona. Ok. Entonces, le voy a dar tiempo ahí para que le tome una captura de pantalla. Y de igual manera, yo se lo voy a mandar a su uh, grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Verdad? Entonces, aquí como, como regla número uno, dice agregar S para casi, casi todos los verbos, ¿verdad? Add S for most verbs. Por ejemplo, si usted va a hablar en tercera persona de trabajo, usted va a decir, she works. Independientemente sea el nombre personal de otra persona o de alguien que usted está hablando relacionado al verbo que vamos a expresar, usted le pone la letra S, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si, si estamos hablando de, vamos a decir, voy a elegir a alguien con todo respeto, ¿verdad? Si elijo a alguien aquí, a Sobeida, si yo le, y yo le pregunto a Elmer, Elmer, what Sobeida is doing right now? What would be your answer, Elmer? What Soveda is she, doing right now? She is attending the class. She's attending the class. That's that's a good question, a good answer. All right. So, and if you if you want to be specific, if I do ask another question over that question, Elmer, if I said, but besides that, what 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 is she doing at this moment? Uh, I mean. I don't see that she's attending the classes, Elmer. Tell me. Mm -hmm. Pero ella está así. Está y le, y le estamos viendo mm -hmm. que está martillando y que está haciendo unas cosas o está arreglando los libros que tiene atrás o está haciendo muchas cosas. What would be your answer? She's working. Sí. Sí, yo, yo le pre, sí, la, la respuesta que me dio okay. anteriormente estuvo buena. Excelente, excelente. Mm -hmm. Porque usted me dijo, porque yo le dije, what Soveida is doing? Uh, mm -hmm. you, you told me, and you told me, she's attending uh -huh. our We classes. Uh -huh. She's attending our classes. Over, I mean, besides that, Elmer, what, what is she doing? I mean, I see that she's worried. I mean, that she's doing something else. Viene usted y me dice, well, she's working a lot. And she works up to midnight. All right. Ahí me fue específico, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Porque yo le pregunté, ¿qué está haciendo? Uh -huh. Ella está trabajando. Y además de eso, trabaja hasta la medianoche. Entonces, oh, okay. esta es la respuesta para este, este ejemplo, ¿verdad? Y así sucesivamente. El, el, la regla número dos dice, uh -huh. add es for words that ends en ch, s, s, h. X o Z. Entonces, a estos verbos usted le va a agregar la ES. Por ejemplo, si usted dice watch, watches, pass, watches. passes, relax, relaxes, relaxes. rush, rushes. All right. So, yes. specific, eh, verbos específicos. La regla número tres viene casi siendo lo mismo. No lo mismo, perdón. Dice, if the verb ends in a consonant plus Y, Change the Y to I and add ES. Yeah. Por ejemplo, si usted mira que el verbo dice study, usted le va a cambiar, ¿verdad? Lo que dice acá la regla, studies. All right, so she's, mm -hmm. she studies English, uh, English uh, matters, por ejemplo. Mm -hmm. La otra regla sería, quiero la regla cuatro. If the verb ends in vowel plus Y, don't change the Y. Solo hay que agregarle la S. Play, place. Y la cuarta, bueno, esta sería la cuarta. Cuarta, irregular form. Forms. Do, does, go, goes. Be, am, is, are, have, has. ¿Ok? Usted me va a decir, Dios mío. Y todo esto me lo tengo que aprender. Créame que suddenly, así de repente, usted va a decir, Dios mío, yo ni me lo creo que me haya aprendido todo esto. Ni me lo creo, pero what we, what we need to do, guys, we need to practice, 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 practice. Practice make the master, remember, okay? So let's repeat, work. 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 Works. 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 It. 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 Play. 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 Place. 
Okay, cry, cries. Cry, cry, cry. Try, tries. Try, try, try. try. Spy, spies. Spy, spy, spy. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly, fly. Fly, fly, fly. fly, fly. Go, goes. Go, go, go. Wash, washes. Wash, washes. Watch, watches. Watch, watches. Watch, watches. Mix, mixes. Mix, 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 mix. Kiss, kisses. Kiss, kiss, kisses. Okay, solo un énfasis, mis estimados, mis queridos uh, estudiantes, solo un énfasis. Acuérdense que esto solamente, esto que acabamos de eh, practicar acá, es para la tercera persona singular. He, she, it. Okay. I just want to make sure that you guys are understanding this part. Okay, now, do you have any question about this uh, about, about this short topic that we just dis disclosed? Any questions? Acuérdense que le voy a dar un consejo. No neces si todos tenemos la capacidad, si usted tiene el intelecto, que yo no lo tengo, ¿verdad? A mí me cuesta eh, tener retentiva, pero si usted tiene esa retentiva al 100, solo, mire, póngaselo aquí, y ya estuvo, ya lo tiene en su mente. Solo, pa, solo bájelo a, y súbalo a su computadora, que es su hard disk. All right? Si no, si no, usted va a tener que estar practicando every single day. Every day we need to practice. Hold on, hold on. One second. All right, so that's what, you, that's what we have to do. We need to practice every single day, all right, in order to comprehend, in order to uh, analyze you know, the verbs, okay? So now, let me just stop over here and we will continue in a minute. Let me pass list at this moment. All right, and just answer present, I'm here. Here I am, or like the way you would like to answer. Let's see, give me one second. Our group is G14C. Okay, let's see. Give me one second, just a moment. G All right, you. All right. Okay, uh, let's see. One second. One second. All right, today. What day is today, guys? Any volunteer? What day is today? Today is October 24, 2023. Okay, so next, I mean, tomorrow we, I'm going to ask you one more time, okay? Today is October 24, 2023. Okay, let's see. Adriana is Ernestina Contreras Godinez. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, Andrea Mariana Garcia Torres. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, Angela Andres uh, Jorge. Angela Andres Jorge. Teacher, sorry. Yo creo que ella fue la que pidió permiso en el grupo que no había llegado a la casa. Oh, okay, okay. All right. Let's see. Uh, Claudia, thank you. Claudia Noemi Carcamolara. Claudia Noemi Carcamolara. Present. Thank you. Uh, Daniel Armando Rivera. Present. Uh -huh. Thank you. Elmer Alexander Tejada Samayoa. Elmer Alexander Tejada Samayoa. He's not here. All right. Elmer Antonio Hernandez Chicas. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Eric Alejandro Paul Flores. Present. Thank you, sir. Gladys Teresita Diaz Alvarez. Gladys Teresita Diaz Alvarez. 
no, eh, Jenny Raquel Figueroa Zamora. Uh, present teacher. Jocelyn Geraldina, Geraldine Evangelista Castro. I'm here, teacher. Thank you. Jose David Zuniga Padilla. Jose David Zuniga Padilla. Carla Melissa Martinez Cruz. Present. Thank you. Laura Raquel Navarrete Rivera. Present. Thank you, Miss. Mario Roberto Alfaro Peña. Present. Thank you, sir. Uh, Marvin Wilfredo Martinez uh, Pujirre. Marvin Wilfredo Martinez Pujirre. Present, teacher. Thank you. Nixon. Present, Jose, teacher. Thank you. Nixon Jose Derek Lemos Mejia. Yeah, I am, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, Rosa del Carmen Roja. I'm sorry, Rosa del Carmen Rojas Perez. Present. Thank you, miss. Uh, let's see, Saveda de la Cruz Mendez de Rivera. Present. Thank you, miss. Teresa de Jesus Garcia Coto. Teresa de Jesus Garcia Coto. William Alonso Rubio Moreno. Present. Thank you, sir. All right, si no le he mencionado a alguien, me hace saber, por favor, para mencionarlo antes sure. de la clase. Uh, um, uh, a mí se me, se, me, se me cortó el internet por un momento, creo que. Okay, no ¿Cuál, me, es, no ¿cuál me, es su me nombre, no caballero? ¿Qué es su nombre? José name? David Zúñiga. José David Zúñiga, ok. Uh -huh. Ok. All right, excellent. All right, so. Ok. No problem. Let's see. Let me review some information real quick. Just a moment. We're going to double check. All right, guys. Uh, let's review some information here. Give me one second. Okay, one second, please. All right, I believe we already checked this uh, topic yesterday. We are going to review uh, review it right now. Give me one second. Let me share the information uh, this moment. Let's see. Sorry about that. Okay, let me know if you are able to see what I'm checking at this moment. We are on our platform. Do we complete this uh, exercise yesterday, guys? Yes? I did it today, but I just want to make sure if you guys remember about this. No? No. So, okay. <laughs> yes, right? If you, if you guys don't remember, no worries, okay? We can complete it today. All right? So remember, every time okay. that you are taking classes after your classes, you need to complete your exercises as much, as much as you can, okay? If it is possible, okay? So the instruction says multiple choice, select the correct form of the verb. Aquí yo lo elegí, si gusta solo le toma, le toma nota, dice, uh, I take a shower in the morning. Okay, ¿cuál sería el subject aquí? Uh, let's see. Uh, Laura. On the first one, on the first question, what would be the subject? I take a shower in the morning. Repeat, What's please. It? Yes. What would be, what sería, what would be the subject in this sentence or in this, yeah, this sentence? I take a shower in the morning. I take a shower. I take a shower in the morning. Yo quiero saber cuál es el sujeto en esa oración. Anybody can hear? I, excellent. Very good. I, remember. All right. So uh, let's see. Uh, Jenny, my boss sends 
emails every day. Who is, or tell me what is the verb there? ¿Cuál es el verbo ahí? Friends. Very good, excellent. Easy money. Okay, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, mi estimada Rosa del Carmen. Third, my co-workers have meetings on Fridays. What would be the complement on that particular sentence? Meeting on Friday. Excellent. Very good job. Okay, Marvin Martinez, number four. The secretary usually arrives late to work. Who is the subject there? No se le oye, mi estimado Martinez. Uh, the secretary actually the secretary arrive, is... mm -hmm. arrive late to work. Okay, no, but my question is this. This is the oration. The secretary usually arrives late to work. My question is, who is the subject, Mr. Martinez? Arrive. The Arrive. subject. The subject. The subject. Uh, she? Uh, she, and who is she? Who is she? Who is she? Anybody can help Mr. Martinez? Who is she, guys? The secretary. The secretary, uh, right? Secretary. So, uh -huh. acuérdense, secretary solamente es la secretaria, pero ¿quién es, quién es ella? Ella, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. Sí. Jocelyn sí. Geraldine, please, number five. We never work on weekends. What would be the compliment? Jocelyn. Work. The compliment. Work. No. Are you sure? The compliment. No. Let me see. Mm -hmm. Anybody can help Miss Jocelyn? Weekends. On weekend. On weekend. weekend. On weekend. Oh, it's, it's better. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right, so let's see now. Give me one second. All right, let's see time expressions, right? So we are going to double check time expressions. All right, so what are the time expressions? Okay, this guy will say the same thing. All right, so let's see. All right, when we, when we are talking about time expressions, guys, let me tell you that we are talking about things that we are doing on time. La misma, la misma, la misma expresión o la misma, el mismo tema nos dice, ¿verdad? Expresiones de tiempo, ¿ok? So, give me one second. Let's see. Vamos a ver. Ok, so, are you able to see what I'm checking right now, my kiddos? Yes? Yes. Ok, excellent. Yes. Very good, very good. One second. All right, so time expressions. In addition, let me let me read this for you. In addition, you should use time words to connect the different sentences. Sometimes words are. Okay. En complemento, usted puede utilizar palabras de tiempo para conectar las diferentes oraciones, como algunas palabras que son. After that. Esas son las expresiones de tiempo, acuérdese. No lo quiero confundir. Este es otro tema. Solo para hacerle hacer un énfasis. All right. After that. Repeat. After that. After, after that. that. All right. After breakfast. After, after breakfast. breakfast. After work. After, after work. work. After school. After, after school. school. After school. After dinner. After, after dinner. 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 In the morning. In the morning. In the morning. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the afternoon. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. In the evening. Not evening. 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 One more time. In the evening. Evening. Very good job. Excellent. At time. At right time. time. At so, time. Pero ahí, ¿qué quiere decir eso? Si ponemos Sorry. at, 
Es at what? At una hora específica. Hora específica, right? Hora específica. All right. So, for example, si digo at seven o'clock. So, mm -hmm. if I do ask, let's see. Uh, si le pregunto a Mr. José David Zúñiga. Si David José Zúñiga. Uh, at what time? What time? We, I mean, at what time we're going to complete these classes? Or what time the classes finish? 10, 10 o'clock. Solo, solo así me diría, solo 10 o'clock, or le hace falta algo ahí? Uh, finish, finish, finish. Mm -hmm. No, ajá, yo le pregunté, ¿a qué hora, a qué hora no. termina esta clase? Ah, uh, at, uh, at uh, 10 o'clock. At 10 o'clock, all right, 10 o'clock. Okay, very good. Let's repeat, then. 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 then everybody then then, then. 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 Next. Next. next next and then next and then and then, then. then. when i when, when I. I from time to time from, from time, time to time, time. To time. Excellent. All right. So, aquí les tengo un ejemplo, ¿verdad? El cual ustedes lo pueden eh, utilizar para que tengan una idea de lo que Mr. Escamilla is trying to explain. Estas son expresiones de tiempo. Prácticamente fueron, son como los conectores que yo le estaba diciendo anteriormente. Con, estos, eh, con estas expresiones de tiempo, usted va a llevar una secuencia en sus palabras que va a hablar, you know, step by step. For example, it says like this. Look at this, look at this text. I get up at 7.30 and I brush my teeth. I have, a I have a shower and get dressed. I have breakfast and prepare my lunch. I drive to work. Now look at the same time, at the same text with the same expressions. ¿Verdad? Entonces hay que verlo ahora con las expresiones de tiempo. Lo que usted, lo que acabamos de leer acá, es lo que yo le estaba explicando anteriormente, que cómo quería que me lo explicara usted. Cómo quiero que usted de ahora en adelante lo empiece a hablar. Pero ahora le vamos a agregar las expresiones de tiempo. Al, a su daily routine que usted tiene, por ende, todos los días. Entonces, sigue así. I get up at seven and I brush my teeth. After that, I have a shower and get dressed. Then I have a breakfast and I prepare my lunch next. I try to work and that would be it, all right? The second part sounds much better, all right? So ese no lo tengo acá, pero igual eso es lo, lo que son las expresiones de tiempo, ¿verdad? Expresiones de tiempo, las que tenemos acá. Esas, agréguelas y créanme que su inglés va a sonar perfecto, va a sonar diferente a como lo tenemos en este momento, sin menospreciar a nadie, ¿verdad? Si usted tiene problemas, Nadie nació aprendido. Usted está haciendo un esfuerzo y lo felicito para que continúe. Okay, so now let's see. Any questions, guys, before I pass to the next topic? I mean, before I continue with the, the same topic that we are checking so far? Any questions? No questions? All right, let's see. One second. Just a moment. All right, so now let's see. Instructions, multiple choice, select the correct time expression. Let's see, um, Jenny, tell me what would be the answer on the first question. I take a shower every minute, every day, or two times a year? Every day. Every day, are you sure? Yes. All right, very good, very good. I just wanna make sure, right, that we are sure that we are doing something sure, very good. All right, let's see, William Alonso Rubio, my parent, I mean, my pa my partners have a party every monthly, each month, monthly. Every monthly. Are you sure? Okay, vamos a ver. Lo vamos a dejar acá. Very good. Let's see. Uh, Claudia, no, Amy. No, Amy, my boss writes reports. Days, daily, every days. Every days. Every days, okay. 
So, ustedes, yo solo estoy poniendo, lo estoy poniendo, ¿verdad? Ya ahorita ya no lo puedo quitar, solamente estoy viendo, estoy uh, contestando lo que usted me está diciendo, ¿ok? Yes. I yeah. drive. Ok, ok. ¿A dónde? Ahorita así lo vamos a dejar. Yo sé, yo sé, yo sé. Así lo vamos a dejar, ok? No se preocupe. I have a meeting. Let's see. Quiero ver quién está por acá. All right, let's see. Ok. Daniel Armando Rivera. What will be the answer on number four? I have a meeting weekly, weeks, each weeks. Each weeks. Okay. Mm. And number five, let's see. Uh, Jocelyn, please. People at work go to conferences, conferences, I'm sorry, every year, one year, yearly. Jocelyn Geraldine Evangelistica. What will be your answer, Jocelyn? One year. One year, okay. So, now, everybody, it's okay, right? So, yo puse lo que ustedes me dijeron. Si no, pero si nos equivocamos, nos equivocamos acá. No se preocupe. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, four. Solo una nos salió buena. Okay, so, le pregunto, José David, usted se está, se está, lo vi sonriente ahí. Vamos a ver. José David, Zúñiga Padilla. What will be the number, number, uh, number two? My, my partners have a party. Each month, every month, or monthly? Monthly. Jose, Jose? Perdón, perdón. Eh, each month. Each month, okay. Vamos a ver. Okay, Marvin, Marvin Martinez, my boss writes reports days, daily, or every day? Daily. Marvin? Days. Days, okay. Okay, I have a meeting. I have a meeting weekly, weeks. Let's see. Uh, permítame. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver. Adriana Arnesina, please. What would be the answer? I have a meeting weekly, weeks, or each weeks? Adriana Arnesina. Weekly. Weekly, okay. Yeah. And number five, let's see. Carla Melissa. Number five, uh, people at work goes to conferences every year, one year, yearly. Every year. Every year. Okay. Are you sure? Okay. Solo, solo hago lo que ustedes me dicen. All right. Very good. All right. Eric Alejandro Paul Flores. My partners have a party every monthly, each month or monthly. Yes. Every monthly. Every monthly, okay. Uh, let's see, Rosa del Carmen Rojas. My boss writes reports daily. days, daily, or every days? Daily. Daily, okay. I have a meeting, let's see, who else is here? Saveda, I have a meeting weekly, weeks, each weeks. Weeks. Weeks, I sure, okay. Yes. People at work go to go to conferences. Okay, Laura, Raquel. People at work go to conferences every year, one year, or yearly. One year. One year. Okay, vamos a ver. All right. One, two, three. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's see. Elmer Antonio Hernandez Chicas, number two. My partners have a party every month, each month or monthly? Monthly. Monthly, all right. So let's see. Jose Derek Mejia, my boss writes reports days, daily, or every days? Daily. Daily, all right. I have a meeting, Jenny, I have a meeting weekly, weeks, or each week's? Uh, weekly. 
weekly. All right, so let's see. It's Jerry. Let's see, William Alonso, uh, people at work go to conferences every year, one year or yearly? Yearly. Yearly, okay, so. Excellent, everybody did a good job, all right? So as you, you can you see that, right guys? It's pretty, pretty easy. Se ve, se ve fácil, pero no está fácil. Pero igual, ¿qué pasó? Que no sabíamos vocabulario, ¿verdad? Porque no sabíamos que era monthly. Monthly significa mensualmente. Yearly significa anualmente. Anualmente. Y weekly, semanalmente. So, those are the expressions of time. Those expressions of time, you will be using those expressions of time every time that you are talking on each. You can use those expressions of time when you are uh, mentioning something about your daily routines. Okay? So, lo puede mencionar en sus daily routines y en otras conversaciones que usted crea conveniente. Por ejemplo, si usted dice, I daily take a shower at 7 o'clock. Diariamente, or daily, I, I daily take a shower at 7 o'clock. Diariamente tomo mi baño a las 7 de la mañana. All right, so, and, le preguntan, what time, how many times do you get, uh, how many times do you get, re, how many times do you get reports uh, at the office? Weekly. I get my reports weekly. Every single week I receive my reports. So, okay, that means weekly. Semanalmente. Y yearly <coughs> es anualmente, ¿verdad? For example, if, si, yo le, si yo le pregunto como vendedor que soy, le digo, eh, would you like to have your plan monthly or yearly? ¿Verdad que ya le han hecho esa pregunta? En, en claro, en tigo, ¿verdad? Le dicen, ¿cómo le gustaría su plan? ¿Anual o mensualmente? Usted dice, okay, I would like to have my plan yearly. Cuando le dicen yearly, it's because you guys are going to pay the whole amount. Cuando le dicen que anualmente usted va a tomar ese plan, es porque usted va a hacer un solo pago, ¿verdad? Y el plan dura un año, ¿correcto? Excellent. Do you have any questions so far, guys? No questions? Vamos a ver. Do you have any questions? No questions? All right. So if you don't if you don't have any questions, let me go ahead and check over here. One second. All right. All right. So now we are going to double check how to use simple present daily activities routines. All right. So si usted se fija, vamos, ya estamos utilizando la primera time expression, right? Cuando usted mira y, mira y, y, y escucha daily expression, I mean, daily activities, usted dice, ah, daily. Esa es una expresión de tiempo, ¿verdad? Por lógica lo entendemos que es algo que usted ya entiende y que se traduce diariamente, ¿verdad? Está diariamente, anualmente, semanalmente, mensualmente por la que ahorita yo me recuerdo. No sé si hay más, pero si la sabe usted, me avisa. Ok, dice, complete the paragraph with the words in the box. Make sure to write them in the correct form. Ok, so, let's repeat. Let's repeat, I'm sorry. Let's repeat. Call. Everybody, call. call. Have. Call. Call. Have. Call. Have. Call. Have. Check. 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 Wake up. Wake, wake, up. Up. wake up. One more time. Wake up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake go. up. Go. 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 All right. So now wake let's up. let's very good. Let's complete the the paragraph that we have here. From go. Monday from Monday to Friday to Friday, Dominic, what? Wake, wake up. up. Wake, wake up. up. Wake up at five a.m. She. She, she, she got to work. work. She, 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 she got to work 
and when she Big. gets there, she Big checks. She checked. Check. She checked check her check email her and call and call and call all, the, all the clients and her daily list. Lisa and Claudia call 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 with Dominic. I sure Lisa and Claudia work. Work, uh, work with Dominic. They, they have, they have to eat lunch. Go. They, they have, they have to go. Go to lunch. lunch. Go to lunch together. They have to go to lunch together. Right at four, at four p.m. Dominic. Go. go. Go home, all right. So, ¿qué quiere decir aquí por tres? Go por tres. Te repite tres veces. Excellent. Very good, very good, very good. Very good, excellent. All right, so. And unit one still says uh, information related to ex uh, time, uh, expression of time, right? So, let's repeat. Every day. Every, every day. day. Every week. Day. Week. 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 Month. Week. Month. Month. No month. No, no month. Month. Con TH. Month. Yes, month. Suavíseme la TH cuando diga, month. cuando usted me mencione alguna palabra con TH al final o oh, intercalado, ¿verdad? Usted me dice month. 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 Obviamente, obviamente, cuando esté mencionando esa palabra en una daily activity o when you are talking with somebody. Month. month. Si usted se acuerda de, de, mi, de mi clase, usted no va a estar, no va a estar haciéndole de esa manera. ¿verdad? Al momento de decir, oh, me acuerdo que el teacher dijo que month se decía así y usted enfrente del entrevistador le dice, I like to get my check monthly. ¿Verdad? Y le hace así. Entonces, what's going on with you? What's going on? Si usted se fija, es como, por ejemplo, si usted dice gracias en inglés. Quiero ver uno por uno cómo me lo dicen. No, tal vez unos cuatro o cinco, vamos a ver. Le voy a preguntar a Jocelyn Geraldine. Quiero ver, quiero verle sus facciones. ¿Cómo dice gracias en inglés? Thanks. Vamos a ver, permítame, quiero ver, permítame, que no la, no la logro visualizar. Ok, dígamelo. Thanks. Thanks, ok. Eric, ¿cómo lo dice, cómo dice gracias en inglés? Thanks. Thanks, ok. Eh, José, ¿cómo dice gracias en inglés? José David. Ah, thanks. Thanks. All, all right. Uh, let's see. Uh, Jenny, how do you say uh, gracias in English? Thank. Thank. Okay. Thank. Uh, Melissa, thank you. thank you. Melissa, how do you say it? Uh, gracias in English? Thanks. All right. Very good. Okay, guys. So, for next time, Sí saben cómo decirlo, pero no sabemos cómo uh, expresarlo. O sea, no sé si me explico. La pronunciación es diferente. Acuérdense, con el TH siempre me lo va a mencionar con su lengüita para arriba, ¿verdad? Si usted se fija, ve alguna película o alguien que mencione esa palabra y regrésela y, y va a ver usted que la persona que dice gracias, le, va a ver usted que se le sube la lengua así para arriba. Usted dice, thanks, thanks. 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 All right. So thanks. that way you have to do thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. No me diga thank you, thank you ¿verdad? Tampoco thank you. Thank you no existe. Acuérdese. Thank you no existe. ¿Verdad? Yo he escuchado que hay personas que dicen, hey, thank you. Y yo digo, ok. Ok. No, es thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank thank you. you. Thank All right, you. so thank you. Very good, very good. That's un tip, un, un tip thank que se lo, se, lo, se lo regalo como parte de mi clase. Okay, vamos a ver, permítame. All right, so let's repeat daily. 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 Weekly. Daily. Weekly. 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 Monthly. Monthly. Weekly. Monthly. 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 Yearly. 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 Okay, very good, very good. Okay, let's see. Let's see. 
Okay. Write five questions. Write five questions. Mm -hmm. You can ask a classmate about a regular day at his her job. Use the questions to interview a classmate about he her daily activities and the time for each. All right. So. Okay. Let's see. Give me one second. One second, just a moment. All right, so now let's see. I'm going to send you to the breaker rooms and you just need to ask some questions, right? About uh, what daily activities you guys do at your job. Que, que actividades ustedes hace uh, en su trabajo, como por ejemplo, dice acá, usar, usar the questions to interview a classmate about his or her daily activities and the time for each. All right, por ejemplo, what does she finish her job? What does he complete his job? All right, so. Vamos a hacer preguntas relacionadas a qué horas usted termina su trabajo. A qué horas usted uh, habla por teléfono. A qué horas usted manda los reportes. What time does she send the reports to her boss? ¿Sí se entiende? ¿Sabe qué? Esto lo vamos, a, lo vamos a dejar como actividad, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a dejar como actividad para okay. mañana. All right, so acuérdese. Vaya haciendo un solo documento y si no lo puede mandar, solo vaya agregándolo al documento que vamos uh -huh. a ir eh, haciendo every day y usted me lo, man, eh, me lo manda cuando pueda, ¿verdad? O sea, no se preocupe, solo para verificar que estamos trabajando. Ok, let's see. Y dice acá, dice, listen to your teacher and read the conversation, then practice with your partner. Ok, let's see. We have, se lo voy a leer yo primero y todavía tenemos tiempo para practicar. Dice Ruth and Josh. Hey Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do. Ruth, how about you? Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacations? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have four bonuses. What about you? I, what about you? And how much do you get received? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than $600. Okay, so this is it. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Tengo una pregunta para ti. Uh, do you have a, do you have paid vacation at your job? Te pagaron las vacaciones en tu trabajo? Yes, I do. Sí, sí, Ruth. ¿Qué, qué de ti? ¿Qué de ti? También a mí, me pagaron las vacaciones. How many days do you have in your vacation? ¿Cuántos días tienes en tus vacaciones? Uh, 20, uh, 20 días para ser exactos. How many bonuses do you, do you have per year? ¿Cuántos bonuses, cuántos bonos o cuántos créditos? Por decir, ¿cuántos ainaldos diría yo, verdad? ¿Cuántos ainaldos por año? No sé si hay otra palabra, me puede ayudar ahí si es ainaldo o créditos al año que nos dan los que trabajamos en la en las empresas, ¿cuál sería? ¿Ainaldo o sería? Bonos Ay, Bonos, ¿verdad? Bonos, ¿verdad? Es un bono, ¿verdad? Ok, bono es lo mismo, ok ¿Cuántos ainaldos? Incentivo. incentivo eso es, esa es la palabra 20 days para ser exactos ¿Cuántos incentivos usted recibe por año, Ruth? Dice I have four Imagínese, esta muchacha, cuatro incentivos anuales recibe. ¿Qué acerca de ti? Le dice, oh, how much do you receive? ¿Cuánto recibes? Yo recibo dos, pero cada un, cada incentivo es de más de 600 dólares. Qué lindo, mire. Y nosotros, nada. Ok, let's see. Rosa, Rosa and Marvin, please be my guest. Rosa es Ruth and Marvin es Josh. Come on, let's go. Let's go, guys. Hey, Josh. I have a question for you. Do you have paid vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. Uh, how about you? 
Me too. I have paid vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many business do you have per year? I have four bonuses. What what about you? And how much do you receive? I have used to watch a bonus in four more at the um, six mm -hmm. one hundred six hundred. All right, that, that's it. Okay, excellent. Jose and Claudia, please be my guest. Go ahead. Claudia, Noemi, you will be Ruth and, and Jose will be Josh. Go ahead, Claudia. Hey, Joe, I have a question for you. Do you have fine vacation at your job? Yes, I do, Ruth. How about you? Meet you. I have fun vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exactly. How many bananas do you have per year, Ruth? I, I have a bonus. What about you? I and how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six. Uh, six. Uh, six hundred. Six hundred. Okay, very good, very good, very good. Okay, let's see, Laura and William, please be my guests. Come on, Laura. Um. Hey, Josh, I have a question for you. Do you have pay vacation at your home? Yes, I do, but how about you? Me too. I have pay vacation. How many days do you have in your vacation? 20 days to be exact. How many bonuses do you have per year, Ruth? I have I have four bonuses. What about you? And how much do you receive? I have just two, but each bonus is for more than six hundred dollars. Excellent. Very good, very good. Let's let's repeat everybody. Receive. 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 Everybody receive. 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 Let's repeat receive. job. Yeah. 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 Let's, re let's repeat how many days how, how many, many days, days? Many days. Vacations. vacations vacations Ruth Ruth no es Ruth no es Ruth es Ruth 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 Ruth. And let's repeat. Hold on one second. All right, let's repeat. Um, six hundred dollars. Six six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Six hundred dollars. Okay, excellent. All right, let's see. Very good, very good job. Okay, let's and let's repeat expressions to ask about money. All right, so let's repeat expressions to ask about about money. Ex let's repeat expressions. Expression. 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 To ask. To ask. To ask. About, about money. About, about money. money. Let's repeat about. About money. About. 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 Ok. Uh, repitamos expresiones res, uh, respecto al dinero, acerca del dinero. Ok. 
-hmm. So let's repeat. How much do they pay? How much do they pay? How much do they pay? How much do they charge? How much do they charge? How much is it? How much is it? How much is it? How much do you earn every month? How much do you earn every month? How much do you earn every uh, every month? How much do you earn every month? do you earn every month? Acuérdese que earn no se, no se vaya a confundir cuando usted le dice, si yo le pregunto, ¿cómo se dice en inglés? How do you said ganar una carrera o ganar un ya yeah, ganar una carrera? ¿Cómo se diría ganar una carrera en inglés? O el verbo ganar, ¿cuál es para usted el verbo ganar? Win. 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 Y usted, Win. Y usted cree, Win. Que ese ver, cree que ese verbo es el mismo que vamos a utilizar cuánto tú ganas mensualmente no no verdad que no yo le hago esta porque no. ahorita ya lo estamos viendo verdad vamos a ver uh -huh. estamos acá y lo estamos viendo y es earn remember earn earn, earn. earn. Okay. no le voy a preguntar a alguien earn. no le voy a preguntar a algún alguna algún nativo no le voy a decir hey how much you win uh -huh. every month se le va a quedar viendo así como uh -huh. how much you win no, how much you earn every how month? How much do you earn every month? Yes. I mm -hmm. earn, y le dice la cantidad, ¿verdad? Okay. All right. So, very good, very good. Let's see. Give me one second. Vamos a ver green card. Let's jump over here. Give me one second, please. All right, so let's uh, remember that we are checking few topics between one topic that we're supposed to be the, the, I mean, breaking down, right? So, estamos verificando varios temas del tema que es prácticamente ya, ya este, simplificamos, que era en este caso daily activities. En las daily activities hemos constatado que hemos, uh, estamos hablando de Verbos, preposiciones, adjetivos, expresiones de tiempo, que son los conectores at the same time. Eh, ¿Qué más? Y sucesivamente estamos creando una conversación la cual usted va agarrando vocabul vocabulario, vocabulario, right? So, en este caso, vamos a verificar. Antes de nada, vamos a verificar y vamos a leer la instrucción para contestar estas preguntas. Antes de nada, o empezar este subtopic, déjeme decirle que how much or how many son totalmente diferentes, ¿verdad? Si yo le pregunto, how much do you, I mean, how much, how much it is, ¿cuánto cuesta? Estamos hablando de cualquier cosa, ¿verdad? ¿Cuánto cuesta la computadora? ¿Cuánto cuesta este, el teléfono? ¿Cuánto cuesta la casa? ¿Cuánto, etcétera, etcétera, etcétera. <coughs> Si yo le pregunto, how many, es porque le estoy preguntando cuántas, por decir, cuántas cosas van a, cuántas cuántos, uh, personas van a venir a la fiesta. <coughs> how many persons are coming to our party? <coughs> Excuse me. How many persons are coming to our party? So, usted dice, oh, I believe are going to come like 50, <coughs> if I'm not mistaken. <coughs> If I'm not mistaken, okay, so uh, let's answer the first question, right? So, ¿cuál sería la respuesta para la primera pregunta? Si decimos, how much or how many parks are in the city? I'm sorry, how many parks or how much parks are there in your city? How many? How many? How many? How many, how right? Many. How many? Excellent, very good. 
All right, so what would be the answer here? How many time do you need or how much time do you need? How much? How much? How, how much? much, right? How much time, very good. And what about this one? How much pollution is there in El Salvador or how many pollution is there in El Salvador? How many? How, how many pollution? How many? Are you sure? Okay, yo, mm -hmm. yo hago lo que usted me dice, okay? So, how, how much co-workers do you have? How many co-workers do you have? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? How many? Okay. And number five would be how much money do you need to buy a house or how many money do you need to buy a house? How much? How much? How much money? How much money do you need? Okay, let's see. One second, please. Okay, one second. Okay, let's see. Let's see one, solo one no salió mala. ¿Cuál es? Oh, no, number three. Mm -hmm. Sería how much? much? How much pollution? How much? Very good. A veces esta, 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 perdón, es este término de how much and how many, a veces nos confunde cuando no manejamos obviamente el término o la expresión, ¿verdad? Pero acuérdese de que no podemos decir how much parks are there in your city. Porque sí, aquí estaría diciendo cuánto cuestan los parques aquí en tu ciudad. O sea, está mal uh, seccionada la pregunta o mal eh, estructurada, ¿verdad? Porque aquí dice how, how much parks. O sea, how many parks. ¿Verdad? Estamos hablando de que cuántos parques hay en la ciudad. Mm -hmm. All right, so, en la segunda sería, let's see. Also, let me just repeat this one. How many parks are in, how many parks are there in your city? How many parks are there in your city? How many parks are there in your city? Okay, how, how, much, city? how much time do you need? How much, How much time, do time do you need? How much time do you need? How much pollution is there in El Salvador? How, How much, much pollution, pollution is in, there in the El Salvador? All right. And how many co-workers do you have? How, how many, many co-workers co do, do you have? And how much money do you need to buy? A, I'm sorry. How much money do you need to buy a house? How much money? How much? How much? How much money do you need to buy a house? How much money do you need to buy a house? All right. If I ask you, Elmer, how much money do you need to buy a house? What would be your answer? Around. Around twenty thirty two. Uh-huh. Okay, okay. Twenty thousand. Twenty thousand dollars to buy your house, uh -huh. okay. What about what about you, uh Eric? How much money do you need to buy a house? I need uh thirty two thousand. Thirty two thousand? Okay, very good. And what about you, uh, Jocelyn? How much money do you need to buy a house? How much money do you need to buy a house? Correct. That's my question. How much money do you need to buy a house? ¿Cuánto dinero um, necesita para comprar su casa? <laughs> One, um, one thousand two hundred. One thousand two hundred. Okay, okay, all right. So probably you already saved uh, a lot of money, right? And you just need one thousand dollars. Very good. 
So sería, sería, el, sería el hombre más feliz de la tierra, ok? So, si solo necesito 1,200, pero imagino que usted ya tiene, este, ya tiene ahorrado unos, unos 30,000 y solo le falta, solo le falta, solo le falta 1,200, ok? So, let's see. All right, let's see. Uh, le vamos a preguntar a quién más le preguntamos. Ok, uh, Rosa del Carmen Rojas Pérez, how many co-workers do you have? at the place where you're working. Rosa del Carmen. How many, how many co-workers do you have? Co-workers quiere decir compañeros de trabajo. How many co-workers do you have at the place where you, where you, where you are working? Hi. Hi, 20 workers. I have 20, uh, 20 co-workers, okay, very good. All right, let's see, uh, Marvin, let's see, how much time do you need to go to bed? How much time do you need to go to bed? Marvin. Hello. How much time do you need to answer this question? La puse más fácil. Okay, uh, Jenny, how much time do you need to answer this question? Uh, repeat, please. Uh, how much time do you need to answer this question? Estamos I aquí, need, estamos aquí need, en, la, en la número dos. I need to answer uh, one minute. One minute, okay. okay. Déjeme, déjeme explicarle algo, mis niños. Estas preguntas, para comprenderlas, tengo que agregarle yo algo, ¿verdad? Para que sea más entendible. Porque si usted, yo le digo, how much time do you need? Si yo le digo a Sobeida, Sobeida, how much time, si yo le digo en español, ¿cuánto tiempo más necesita? Usted me va a hacer así, ¿verdad? O everybody me va a hacer así, what? ¿De qué está hablando, coach? Pero si yo le digo, Sobeida, ¿Cuánto tiempo usted necesita para contestar la pregunta que voy a hacerle? Por lógica, estamos contestando un, un quiz, right? Usted me dice, uh, I will need or I just need one minute. O sea, tenemos que, como, como decimos, ¿verdad? Como nos dicen nuestros padres, tenemos que como captarlas en el aire, ¿verdad? Así como que, oh... Esta es la pregunta, porque vaya, si yo le digo acá, how many parks are there in your city? Primero, yo no conozco dónde vive José. José Mejía, ¿verdad? Pero yo, si yo le pregunto, José, ¿cuántos parques hay donde, por donde usted vive? En la ciudad donde usted vive. O sea, primero, vamos a suponer de que, yo ya, que, que usted ya sabe, o si hay parques, usted me va a decir, oh, hay como tres o cuatro. José, ¿verdad? Estamos en lo correcto. Entonces, vamos a asumir la pregunta como, como es. Entonces, por eso le decía a, a Jenny, le decía, how, many, how, how much time do you need in order to answer this question? Ella me dijo, oh, one minute. Porque es una pregunta cualquiera, ¿verdad? Entonces, ahora le pregunto yo, uh, let's see. How much money do you need to buy a house, uh, Laura? How much money do you need to buy a house? Do you do you need? No, mi pregunta es, how much money do you need to buy a house? Um, I need to. 
¿Cuántas Pai. veces? Ajá, go ahead. Pai. Un minion. Five thousand. Five thousand dollars. I need the fifty. Fifty. Fifty dollars, fifty cents, or fifty. Fifty hundred or fifty thousand. Thousand dollars. Fifty fifty thousand dollars. Okay. Uh, let's see, Alonso. How much money do you need to buy a house? Um, I need around fifty thousand dollars or more. Oh wow! All right, very good, very good. All right, guys, very good job. As you can see, we didn't stop. We've been practicing the whole the whole two hours, right? No hemos parado. No stops. No stops. All right. So we need to practice. We need to practice. Practice make the master. Remember. All right. Remember. Remember. Yo quisiera que la clase durara cinco horas para que saliéramos bien, bien, bien bonitos, ¿verdad? <laughs> no, tampoco, tampoco. All right, guys. Uh, do you have any questions so far before we go to bed? We have uh, any questions before we go to no bed? Question. Si usted se fija, mencioné un, ¿cuál fue la time, uh, the expression of time that I just mentioned? Before we go to bed, do you have any questions? Mm -hmm. Before, right? Before yes, we go before. to bed. Very good, very good. No questions? Very good, guys. No Thank questions. you so much for your time. I see you tomorrow. Try to be on time. Yeah, and too. remember, try to complete the activities that we have. Remember, if you don't have time to complete the activities that I just gave you before, si no tiene tiempo para completar las, express, I mean, las tareas mm -hmm. que le dejé anteriormente, vaya metiéndolas en un archivo. En un archivo, así como nos enseñaron en la universidad, en el en bachillerato, ¿verdad? At the end of the at the end of the month, Mr. Escamilla va a decir, okay, mándemelo. Okay. All right, y lo vamos a revisar. Se va a salir mejor, ¿verdad? Así trabaja, trabaja usted y se va dando cuenta de lo que vamos haciendo. Okay. Very good, guys. Okay. I see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful rest of the night. Thank you so much. Bye, We bye. love you and have a great rest of the day. Thank you. Take it easy, guys. Thank you so much. Bye. Okay. Bye, bye. Good night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night, guys. Good night. good night. Take care. Rest. Rest, 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 rest. Bye-bye, bye-bye.